it's Alex welcome back to my channel and welcome to this vlog today is gonna be a bit of a work from home day so it's gonna be a bit of a studio style vlog again my goals today are to film this vlog film my wardrobe declutter video which I have just been finishing off planning this morning so that is ready to film after this um, and I also want to do a few little things for Zuri Creative like send some emails um, and then I also maybe want to take a Skillshare class later. But I've had this package that I've been really excited to open, but I have stopped myself from opening it so that I could unbox it with you guys on camera. So this package was kindly sent to me by a company called Kuishi Home, I believe is how you pronounce it. I will link them in the description box, but they sell a bunch of different glassware pieces um, focused on creating a more sustainable home, which I love. So firstly, they sent me two of their little um, amber glass spray bottles. These are the 500 ml size, I believe. Um, beautiful amber glass. I've wanted some glass spray bottles with the actual trigger kind of nozzle like this for a while. So I'm so excited to have these. These would be great for just misting plants. Um, and I'm also making a DIY cleaning spray, which I think will go perfectly in here as well. And they also sent me these amber glass pump dispensers, which I think I'm gonna use for hand soap in the bathroom, but you could honestly use these for so many things. You could use them in the shower as well for like shampoo and conditioner. It'd be a really cute way to store them. So just wanna say a huge thank you to Kuishi for kindly gifting these to me. Um, definitely check them out if you guys are looking for some good quality amber glass products. Um, they've got like storage jars as well and a bunch of other things on their website that you could check out as well. Before I get started into filming my video for today, I'm actually gonna take one of these spray bottles and go finish making my DIY cleaning spray. If you guys saw my kind of Christmas week vlog, I was soaking some orange peels in vinegar to make a cleaning spray. They've been sitting in there since then for probably a little bit too long, um, but so I'm gonna go now and finish off making that cleaning spray. So to make this cleaning spray, I soaked these orange peels in white vinegar for what was supposed to be two weeks, but probably ended up being four. I'm not sure if that really makes a difference. And then I just strained out the vinegar um, and all the little bits of orange that were in it and then mixed it with some water. So it was one part vinegar with one part water. You could do this with lemon or limes or any other citrus peel I think would smell really good, um, but it's a really great way to use up your scraps as well. It's a little bit rainy right now, so I'm sorry if you can hear that, but I bought this new dress the other day that I just wanted to show you guys because it's so cute and I thought you'd like it as well. So this is what the dress looks like. It's this little yellow mini dress. It is a nice length as well. It's not too super short, which I love. It's got a little bit of a puffy sleeve going on and yeah, this is a little bit out of my comfort zone, I guess. I don't normally wear this kind of color, this yellow color. Um, but I did like the little spots of orange and just the warmth that it brings, so I bought it. So I've just been filming my video and doing a bit of work and I had a quick lunch break and now um, I asked you guys yesterday on Instagram for some questions because I haven't done any sort of Q&A in a little bit, um, so I thought I'll answer a few of them just in this little segment of the vlog for you. I got a few questions about what I do for work, um, if I'm studying, if I go to uni, so I realized that people who are new to my channel might not necessarily know exactly what I do because I don't really share about it in every single video. But pretty much I don't study anymore. I graduated from university with a degree in communications. Now I work part-time, just two days a week, as a digital media coordinator for my church. Um, and then I also do YouTube and I have a business doing product photography. And then I do a little bit of freelance work video editing, etc. here and there, which I really enjoy too. Someone asked, what has God been teaching you recently? Which honestly, I was gonna skip this question. Um, this is usually something that I really love talking about and I love sharing with you guys, especially in my vlogs, what I've been reading in the Bible and what God has been teaching me. 
Um, but I really don't know how to answer this question right now because I feel like I haven't really been spending time with God to be able to discern what he's teaching me. Um, yeah, another question was how do you motivate yourself to meditate on God's word? Are there times that you skip reading? Um, and yes, absolutely. This is just going to be a moment of realness for you guys. Um, and also I hope that this will help to not create like a false um, or unrealistic expectation. Um, I think it's easy because I always show it in my vlogs to think that I am just really good at reading my Bible and I'm always like disciplined with my reading and I'm always spending time with God and I'm always in like a good place with my faith. But that is not the case all of the time and I'm definitely going through a little bit of a season right now where I am just struggling to spend time with God and be in the Word and I'm just not like I just don't have that desire um, to read my Bible right now and it's sometimes hard to kind of well up that motivation to want to do that. But yeah, I'm trying to make it a less intimidating task and instead of thinking I have to go through um, and just read a huge chunk of scripture and um, really read commentaries and discern the meaning, which are great things to do, um, I've just been going through and reading through Psalms and just reading the words and letting it wash over me. But as for what God is teaching me, I don't really know right now. I think I'm probably in one of those times where I'll be able to look back and see what God is teaching me through this moment. Um, but as for right now, I am just a little bit struggling with my faith. Um, so prayer is very much appreciated. Um, if you guys are Christians and you pray, I would love for you to pray for me. <laughs> Someone asked for tips for coping with overwhelming emotions. Sometimes I think it's helpful to be able to separate your emotions and your feelings from the actual situation and the facts and recognize that your emotions do not equal truth and your emotions don't um, always align with the situation and facts. And this is pretty obvious, but I think as a pretty emotionally driven person, it's kind of hard to separate the two. But know that you can actually choose to do something without your emotions aligning with the thing that you want to do. So for example, if we're using the example of, um, say you're struggling with your mental health, you can still choose to do something that is going to be beneficial for your mental health, even if you don't feel like doing it. So I've talked about this in a few other videos, but the idea of having a little mental health list um, of things that bring you joy or make you happy or just help you clear your mind um, and choosing to do those things even though it doesn't align with my feelings in that moment. So things like going on a walk or reading a book or playing the piano, um, whatever things it is that make you happy or bring you joy. So that is, I guess, my advice applied to that context. Um, but pretty much just the idea that your feelings don't always equal truth um, and just being able to separate them from the situation that you're in is something that I have really been able to learn through my personal mental health struggles and I think can be applied to a range of different situations as well. Let's end on a light one. Someone asked, what are your favorite nature places in Australia? I have recently discovered my love for camping and I haven't been to a whole lot of places but my favorite place that I have been to is Morton Island, which is just off the coast of Brisbane. It is such a beautiful island, um, and I have loved camping there. I've been a couple of times. On a smaller scale, I love finding waterfalls or rock pools to swim in. There are a whole bunch all around Australia, um, especially where I live. But I think living in Australia, I am just so blessed because Australia is such a beautiful country and there's so much beautiful nature around um, that I have not been able to explore. So I think doing some more kind of trips around Australia in the future would be something that I would love to do. Anyway, that is going to be it for my little Q&A segment. I'm going to go take a few more things off of my to-do list and then later this afternoon I'm going to go to the beach and watch the sunset. That is one thing that I want to do more of this year is see more sunrises and more sunsets.